talk about shoes. Want to? Do you know back three years ago, if you was coming up to me and say, Mike, you would know a lot about walking shoes. I tell you, you're full of crap. Huh. But today I do. Overlook my dog barking in the backyard because she thinks she has to bark at every shadow she sees. But today's purpose for this video is I think I should be a, I should be a walking shoe tester. I'm serious. I think some of these shoe companies out there should pick me to test their walking shoes. You know, give me your best pair of shoes. Let me test them out for about a month. And I'll tell you if they're a good pair of walking shoes or not. Because believe me, I've been through many pairs. I wish I would have kept them. I told my wife the other day, I'm going to start from this point on keeping my walking shoes instead of throwing them away. Let me show you my last pair of walking shoes. And I'll tell you a little bit about them. Okay, these are champions. These are inexpensive pair of walking shoes. So pretty much you kind of get what you pay for. And believe me, look at this. I put the miles on these. But they're not a good pair of walking shoes. Not by any means. No. Inexpensive, you get what you pay for. So these lasted out maybe at the most a little bit over two months. And I put I put them through hell. <laughs> any pair of walking shoes I get, I'm gonna put through hell. Now I'm gonna show you my other pair of walking shoes I use now. And these happen to be damn good ones. I guess these are called Flex. It's hard to read, at least with my eyes. But guys, these are a little bit more expensive than a pair of walking shoes I showed you a minute ago. But believe me, it's worth a few extra bucks because so far I've had these now for about three, maybe four months, I'm guessing. I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking about three or four months. And let me show you the bottom of them. Now, they're starting to show wear and tear. I see in about another month or two, I would definitely need another pair. But, that means these last out like they're supposed to, about six months. A decent pair of walking shoes will last you anywhere from four to six months. Depending on how many miles you put on them. And I put the miles on the walking shoes. But guys, I wish one of these shoe companies out there would pick me and say, will you test our walking shoes? Now, the reason I bought a more expensive pair of walking shoes, if you guys have been following me the whole time, you should know, or remember is I figure I'd pay a few extra bucks more and got a pair, get a pair that's going to last me maybe five or six months instead of paying just a cheap amount for a pair of shoes that's going to last me two months. Because basically for the price I pay for the cheap ones, uh, if I pay double on that, I get a good pair of walking shoes, which lasts me a lot longer. But yeah, I want them shoe companies to come to me, Nike, Reebok, it doesn't matter. Pick me. I test your shoes out for you. Let me wear them for about a month or even two months if you want. Now I'll give the lowdown. I'll tell you if they're comfortable. I'll tell you if they can handle me. Because a lot goes into a, you know, a good pair of walking shoes. It isn't just the fact that they're going to wear, you know, wear out or not. A lot of things go into it. Now most of your shoes nowadays, the walking shoes, they got that foam insert, you know. I hated that at first. But guys, it's awesome. It makes you have a more comfortable walk. It's like walking on air. But the thing with the foam insert is, what I learned, if your feet get, if it gets wet, goodbye to the foam. <laughs> it becomes like a hard rock. And when the shoe starts wearing down, it becomes like a hard rock too. So the foam insert has its good qualities and bad qualities. And plus the tightness of the shoe, you know? I usually, you know how you break in a pair of shoes? I usually break in a pair of shoes within well one day first time I walked they're broke in not only these shoes go through me walking every single day they also go through the stairs too when I do the stairs I wear them shoes I mean I pretty much that's all I use them for it's strictly walking now, I'm going to show you the shoes I got on now and these are my everyday shoes by the way they're untied these are my everyday shoes I walk with okay it's just walking to the store and whatnots I don't use them for walking. I did break them in that way, though. <laughs> I break in all the shoes. doesn't matter if I... I, bro I broke them in because I took them first time walking. They're heavy. They're bulky. They're not made for... They're not good walking shoes. It's just like your everyday shoes. When you get a pair of walking shoes, you want... Well, hello. You want them to be very light and weight, too. You don't want anything that's going to weigh you down. You want to be lightweight, and you want these things... Guys, here's a shoe expert right You're here. You're cheating on me? 
Well, I hate to say this, but the champions over there, they are a cheap pair of walking shoes. Of course they're cheap. However, they're not meant to be worn for like five miles a day. <laughs> you wore hard on shoes. Any shoes you get that you walk five miles a day, of course they're going to look terrible. Elizabeth. What? I want some of these shoe companies out there like Reebok, Nike, etc., etc., to pick me the tester shoes. Okay. What do you think about that? Uh, you'd be a good candidate for it. So anybody that basically owns Reebok or Nike, come on, hook me up. I test your shoes. Nike or overrated. I would test your shoes. Bring them. Send me a pair. Have me test these shoes for about a month or two. Now I'll let you know if they're good pairs of walking shoes or not. I keep telling you, champions are freaking great. You have filas. Is that what they're called, filas? Yeah, they're fila. See, I guess she knew the name. I didn't. <laughs> I work at a shoe store. It's on your shoe. In two places. And tell you the right truth, there? when I got them like shoes that? right here, it did not come from her store, so. You're cheating on me. I was cheating. How rude. I asked Elizabeth the other day, I said, what is the best pair of walking shoes she got? What's the best pair you got in the store, she says, they're the champions. And that's the ones I showed you first. They're good pair of walking shoes if you don't put the miles on them like I do. So guys, Reebok, Nike, what are some of the other big mm, leading shoe experts? You know any of them? Um, <sighs> That's all I can think of. Look me up. Let me to test your shoes. I do it. Name the two most overrated ones. <laughs> There's another one I just keep forgetting. There is? Yeah, Reebok, Nike. There's another one. But anyway, guys, so this is today's video. Uh, I just got him working out on the treadmill for uh, over an hour, and I want to work out on the steps later. I've been kind of sick lately, but that's not going to stop me from working out. So until next time, leave comments. Tell me about your walking shoes and what kind are they. Until next time, come on. Let's get out of here. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Why not? You do know sometimes we have okay videos. Sometimes. Until next time, guys. Um, 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 oh, what the hell. Let's get out of here.